guys today i will show you how to make adjustable power supply with up to 10 ampere output to understand better let's take a look of diagram of this project you can see here is both diagrams with 1.5 ampere output also 10 ampere output in first diagram we simply have a lm317 adjustable regulator with 5 kilo ohms potentiometer also i have used another lm7805 to provide fixed 5 volt to voltmeter and input supply can be used up to 30 volts and output you can adjust from 1 to 30 volts with 1.5 ampere output as per data sheet of lm317 now if we look to another diagram you can see similar to first diagram we have LM317 adjustable regulator with 5 kilo ohms potentiometer. Same 30 volt input and 1 to 30 volts adjustable output but with 10 ampere. And it is possible by simply using a 40 ohms 1 to 2 watt resistor on input of LM317. Also by using of MJE2955PNP transistor over here. It bypasses the current only when load on output consumes more than 1.5 ampere, and due to reverse negative voltage coming from LM317 to the base of the transistor, it turns on and output current gets equal as input current without affecting set voltage. And also same 5 volt regulator for voltmeter. To make it more easy to assemble, I also designed the PCB for this project. The Gubber file and diagram download link is given in video description. As you can see I got high quality PCBs of 5 copies for just $2 from JLC PCB. By simply uploading the Gubber files on jlcpcb.com. Where you can see preview of PCB and order any color by your choice. Here I have got the purple PCB, and now let's place components according to the given diagram. Now let's solder all the components. Now let's trim the excess leads of components. Okay, now our PCB is almost ready. To keep track of output voltage I simply used this tiny voltmeter, buying link is in description. And connector goes to this pin header. Okay now we still have two components to be soldered in PCB. And that is this LM317 and 7805 regulators. For these we need a good aluminium heatsink. Also use insulation pads, so the both transistor will not get connected to each other. Also these type of mounting screws can be used to allow some space between this heatsink and PCB. Now let's solder these two components with PCB. Ok now our PCB is ready. I used these alligator clips to connect input supply of 30 volts. I will use multimeter to monitor input voltage and output can be seen on voltmeter. As you can see input is 32 volts. Now let's connect the circuit. As you can see output can be set to any range from 1 to 30 volts but with 1.5 ampere. 
Let's set the output, suppose on 12 volts. Ok now let's upgrade it to 10 ampere according to the second diagram. We just need this NPN transistor and a 40 ohms resistor. As the PCB was designed for 1.5 ampere, we need to do the modification according to second diagram. We need to connect resistor between input. Also we need to connect MJE2955 NPN transistor. Pin 1 as base. Pin 2 as collector. Pin 3 is emitter. I used BIOS to connect transistor with PCB, but the gubber files given in description as already designed for 10 ampere output. Base goes to pin 3 of LM317. Collector goes to pin 2 of LM317. And emitter goes directly to DC input. Ok now we have final circuit with 10 ampere output. And now you can connect higher loads under 10 ampere, but power supply connected at input should also be 10 ampere. Also the circuit is useful to charge different batteries with different voltages. As a input power supply, SMPS can be used, or a step-down transformer with bridge rectifier can also be used. I hope you have enjoyed this video, if yes give a thumbs up. For more videos share and subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.